in Jesus. May we pray. Please stand to your feet. Lift up your hands and say thank you, Father. Come on with your hands to the glory of God. With your hands. Our God is a good God. He's full of mercy and compassion. It is a great thing to serve the Lord. It's a great thing to serve the Lord. It is a great thing to serve the Lord. Walking in the light of God. Wave your hands to him. If you are sitting down, that means you don't know the God you are worshiping. It is a great thing to serve the Lord. It is a great thing. Oh, to serve the Lord. Ah, yes. To serve the Lord, walking in the light of God. Oh, so walk, walk, walk in the light. So walk, somebody walk in the light, walk in the light of God. So walk, walk in the light of God. Walk in the light of God. Lift up your hand. Say, I walk in the light of God. I walk in the light of God. I can't tell you. Come on, walk from your seat. Say, I walk in the light of God. I walk. Come on, begin to walk in this light. I walk, I walk in the light of God. I walk in the light. I walk in the light of God. I walk in the light of God. I walk. In the light of God. I walk in the light of God. I walk in the light of God. Come and walk in the light. I walk in the light of God. Walk in the light. Jesus, I walk in the light. Walk in the light. I walk in the light of God. Walk in the light. Walk in the light. Walk in the light. I walk in the light. I walk in the light. I walk, I walk, I walk, I walk, I walk in the light. Lift up your right hand. Say, my father, my maker. Let your light shine in my life. I can't tell you what. Sound the very land clear. Say, father. Let your light shine in my life. Thank you, Jesus. Let us pray. In Jesus' name. Our Father in heaven, omnipotent God of many science, the God of all flesh. Thank you for a time like this. In a few minutes, come and manifest yourself. At the end, we have a cause to glorify. For in Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Come and walk to several persons. Say, Let the light shine. Talk to several persons. I'm not going to waste more of your time. How many of you know today is Saturday? You know today is Saturday. Let me see your hand. Hallelujah. Today is Saturday. And today is a day many have been praying for. Amen. Today is a day many have been what? Be praying for. Today is a day many has been praying for. Taught me to the book of Matthew. Matthew. Walk in the light of God. 
Mighty chapter 5. From verse 13 down. Yes, come here with the microphone. It is a great thing to serve the Lord. It is a great thing to serve the Lord. It is a great thing to serve the Lord. Great to serve the Lord. Oh, walk in the light of God. So walk, walk, walk. Walk, walk in the light. So, Kalamana, Barabara, Shalaba. Mara, come, let's go. Come on, with me. In, in the light of God. Come this way. Mind you, chapter 5. Read from verse 13. Come because of these speakers. Yes. Prince. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. Mighty chapter 5, verse 13. Mm. Ye are the salt of the earth. Ye are the salt of the of what? Of the earth. Of the earth. But if the Somebody salt shouting and say, I am the salt of the earth. Come on, shout it very loud. I am the salt of the earth. Ye are the salt of the earth. Yes. But if the salt have lost its taste, seven. If the salt lost its taste. Where we shall it be salted? Where it shall it be salted? Hallelujah. Many of you know white, right? If you cook a meal without salt, it will never be okay. The food will be tasteless, eatless, digestless. <laughs> Everything about the food will be useless. Even you that is eating it, your face will be faceless. Because it will bring no joy to you. No matter how you love a woman when they cook for you and the food is not okay, your face will skews, squeeze automatically because the food is not okay. If you want to see a man's happiness, it lies in the food he eats. <laughs> give, give a man me, you will see how he will be smiling, laughing like Mugu. When you see a man rubbing his stomach and he's laughing in the hand, no say don't show better food. <laughs> so when you lost your salt, you will be what? Tasteless. Anything that will make you to lose the salt of your life today has been destroyed. Yes, we don't. It is therefore. Eh, the keyboard down a little. It is therefore uh -huh. good for nothing. It will be good for nothing. Yes. But to be cast out. But to be cast out. And to be trended on that foot of men. Mm. Verse 14. Mm. Ye are the light of the world. Ye are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill. A city a that is what? Set on a hill. That is set on a hill. Can never be hidden. Can never be hidden. Ye are the light. Come on, shout the Say, I am the light of the world. How can you be a light and you are not shining? How can you be a light and you are not shining? Have you ever seen a light that is not shining? If you are a light, you must shine. Read on. Verse 15. Hey. Neither do men light a candle. Men cannot light a candle. And, and put it under a bush. But, and put it under a bush. Sure. But, but on a candlestick. Hmm. And, it, and it giveth light unto all that. But on a house. candlestick. And is given light to all. A light should shine and the light should inflate all. Yes, read on. Verse 16. Mm. Let your light so shine before Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works. So that they may see your good works. 
and glorify your father and glorify your father which is in heaven which is in heaven verse 17 mm. think not that i am come to destroy the law i am not come stand to your feet everybody stand to your feet everybody how can you be a light and you are not shining god lives in men tell me what god lives in men Face your neighbor, tell him again. Say, God lives in men. Say it louder again. Say, God dwells with men. Listen, the same way God lives with men, God also, Satan also lives with men. If you don't have a father, you are a bastard. It's even a proud to say, I don't have a father. It's a proud. How can you say you don't have a father? You don't have a father? You don't have a mentor? You will inspired. You don't have a father? You don't have a mentor? You will inspire. He's proud. The same way God lives in men, Satan lives in men. So who dwells in you is very important. That's why you must be very careful. A man came to the mountain and he said, God have called me. I said, who have you worked with? He said, no, 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 no. God have not called me to work with anybody. He just, God just said, go and open your ministry. I said, you will fall and you will never rise. He said, ah, man of God, never. I can fall. God have called me. I said, who have you said? Who is your father? I have a father. And I don't need a father. He went and opened the ministry. When temptation comes, small temptation. Small temptation. A woman came to him for counseling. And the woman pretended to be a prophetess. It was Telling this man so many dreams, so many revelations. God says he's going to take you high. God says he's going to lift you high. So he was happy, he was jumping. And this is how the demonic kingdom clipped to his life. So gradually the woman come close, come close. Not knowing that this is a woman that was sent from the demonic world to destroy him. So the more he come in contact with the woman, the more he fell in love. One day they had kind of knowledge together. And that was the end of the ministry is open. The same woman who has sex with him went and told everybody that this man is fake. He raped me. He raped me. That was the end of the ministry. For no reason. There was no drive in his spirit. I told you sex is a covenant. Who you have sex with control your life spiritually. I preach a message which I titled one time sex covenant. As you have sex with anyone devil live with, you enter covenant with the person. If the person's head is turning upside down, your head will also turn upside down. If the person carries failure, you will also carry failure. You see how people have been entering problem from problem to problem? Let's say for instance now, the person you make love with, he also have a covenant with some demonic world. You are all, you will also automatically link. You will be bound and chained with the same power. So most of when you pray against the enemies in your father's house, check yourself. 
you are the enemies of your life. I tell people that before you pray against the wizard, wizard in your family, sex your life 100 percent. You will find out that 98 percent you are the enemies of your life. Listen, until you fall victim to the devil, devil cannot crap you. People are willingly surrendering their life to devil. Say, This is me, here I am. Smother me as a lamp. You don't have a father. Nobody's interceding for you. Nobody's praying on your behalf. When you have problem, nobody you are talking to. You are a guy of your own. Everything about you, you are right. Fear those kind of people. As a child of God, as a woman of God, you don't need to linger yourself with everybody. Some people, you come in contact with them, you die. Speaking tonight because light of God needs to shine from today in the land of Nigeria. And when we talk about light that is shining, light does not shine in a tree. It shines in people. So you are the light that needs to shine. Can you stand to your feet and come to the altar? <coughs> Shine before men and when men see your light, they will glorify your father in heaven. What kind of spirit lives in you? You need to shake your spirit, shake your spirit. Some of you, when you are having a, a, a runny stomach, you begin to search. What is happening with me? It's like I'm not okay. That is the same way you have to check your spirit. You take care of the flesh and you abandon the spirit. You will die before your time. Many people we never make it in life because all their life they are living all their life to the flesh and they are forsaking the spirit John chapter 6 verse 62 to 63 the flesh kill it while the spirit give it life so are you fighting for the flesh the flesh and the spirit, they don't agree. The fight, the fight within a man, the war within a man. So who do you obey? You are a slave to whom you obey. Do you heed to the flesh? Is your flesh controlling you? Ask your neighbor, is your flesh controlling you? God lives in men. So who lives in you? Who is the man that dwells in you? That is the question. You must ask yourself. So that as you pray, your prayer will be heard. No wonder the Bible says the prayer of a sinner is an abomination unto God. But the first man pray. It availeth much. You can't you see how men delay themselves? I told you, no matter the revelation you have, if you are not in the dimension of where God is taking you to, you can't command the results. Many people have so many dreams to become great, but yet. 
they only dreams and they don't manifest they prophesy to you don't come to pass they are speaking about good things about your life but nothing to show because the primary assignment that the Lord has given unto you you fail to work with it if the Lord have given you an option that this is the way you have to live your life and you are trying to live in another way you are deceiving and you are delaying yourself I told people if God have not called you to be a minister don't try and go and open a church you open a shop because of what you can eat in your belly you will die before your time speak to your spirit say my spirit come back to life and this is where many dream when they wake up they can't remember because their spirit is dying gradually their spirit is weak the flesh is so bold some people they are food 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 holic is it food holic they call it eh? food holic food holic food holic yes what enter the bell is control their life that's why you eat and eat and eat and eat to the essence you wake up in the morning you find out that some bad odor is coming out from your belly because you will eat this one eat this one eat this one you eat different kind of food you join them together they become sour in your tummy even where god is giving you a signal to fast you say what kind of spirit is this there are times you feel so strong that the spirit of god is in you and it does not need the fleshly food but here, yeah, because you are deaf, you don't understand the things of the spirit. Because your spirit is weak. Even when God has given you a signal, you woke up in the morning and you find out that you, have, you are having extraordinary strength in your body. And you need to pray and fast. But yet you will miss it. You need this divine dimension that the Lord wants to take you to. You just go and take water. I need to eat. The moment you eat the Holy Spirit, pack his load and you will leave. But because he don't strive with men. Holy Spirit don't strive with men. You need to be alive. You need to be alive. There's a scripture I love so much. Colossians chapter 3. Somebody read it for me. Don't be distracted. Let's one person read it for us. Colossians chapter 3. Terry. Yeah, just read it from verse 1. But I'm Praise the at... Lord. Yes. If ye then be risen with Christ, seek those things which are above. Where Christ seated on the right hand of God. Mm. Verse 2. Set seek, your affection. Seek, listen, it says seek things that are above. Ask your neighbor, what do you seek? What do you seek? Yes, read on. Verse 2. Set your affection on things above. Set your affections on things that are above. Not on things on the earth. Not on things on the earth. Verse 3. Mm. For ye are dead, mm. and your life is hid with Christ in God. Ye are dead, but your life is hid in Christ with God. Verse say, 4. Say, I am dead in Christ. I am dead in Christ. You need to crucify your flesh tonight. God lives in men. God lives with men. He dwells with men. So what kind of spirit lives in? This is one of the reasons why God abandoned this country. God abandoned Nigeria for a long time. And he gave the country to hidden to rulers. Because all the people who are interceding for the land, when God wants them to unite, 
their heart is perverse. This one is praying for devil. Look at children of God though. This one is praying for devil. This one is praying for a good man. This one is praying for Lucifer. The same children of God do. Now all the prayer they are going to heaven. If not that God is God, men will have confused God. I'm telling you what God told me. He said, when I look at men, I look from heaven and I see the source of men praying unto me. He said, I look at them. What has gone wrong with these people? You can see a man, a man of God fasting for a devilish politicians. He know this one is devilish. He's fasting for this kind of person. Oh God. Oh God. And God will then what kind of spirit that lives in you? Because they are giving you money. You see a man of God breaking a Yahoo boy who you know that is a holy, holy, keep on. Please come and join us here. Everybody come and join us. You see, you see a man of God praying for a Yahoo boy, breaking into the altar. God, you must bless this one. And you know what he's doing is not right. What kind of spirit lives in you? Listen to me. What you do, what you do, eh? what you do, with your living indicate the, the kind of spirit that lives in you. How can you know the spirit that dwells in men? Check their living. Check the way they live their life. You know the spirit that lives in them. You cannot tell me that the right spirit is living in you and you are doing the wrong thing. Abba. Which kind of God are you calling to? I came to I came to the mountain and I saw a minister of God praying fervently in the altar. Yeah, da, 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 da. God, you must do this one. As he saw me say, Prince, thank God you are here. Please show me. Show me prayer. God have to do this one. God have to do this one. I said, What is going on? Then he began to talk to me. He said, This person promised to buy me a car. Build a house for me, train my children abroad. This person has promised me he will he's going to he will give me 10 million naira cash. If God should do this one, please show me prayer. Show me prayer. I need a sweat for what I hear. <laughs> Thank you, sir. I need a sweat. I say, yes. God must do this one for you. As I say, come on, do this. God said, quiet. This one, oh. hey, thank God you have jam lock. Come on, do this one. God said, Quiet, ask him. Now, I say, In Jesus' name, we praise, Amen. Now, I begin to ask him. I say, This person, why won't promise you all this money? Where is he? He says, he say, hey, He's in the country, he's in the country. Okay, what does the person do? Yahoo boy, you brought to the altar praying and you are sweating the minister of God. When you supposed to pray for the spirit of God to live in you. You see the dimension Satan is taking you through. That's what St. Paul said. We pray and missed. Praying for the wrong thing. Lift up your hands. I will pray one prayer for you. Then we will go out. I will go and shout for mercy for this land. As you are shouting the mercy, the mercy of God will also speak for you. <coughs> I never believe I'm going to talk to you tonight. Because all my heart tonight was as God has planted it in me. That tonight, just shout mercy for this land. Just shout. I've been in the monument before the service. Be talking to God. God, mercy. Have mercy upon this land. Have mercy upon Nigeria. I'll be doing that and I went to sleep. So I was just looking at the time. I said the moment my go through the prayer, I will come out, take everybody outside. We shout for mercy and compassion for our life. We shout for mercy and compassion for Nigeria. We shout it very loud. But you know you can't control the spirit most time you comply with the spirit. 
So you want me to talk to you? Maybe he's talking to somebody here. And I believe you are blessed. Yes. You are blessed. Can I hear you? Yes. The Bible says he sent forth his word and his word. When you lack the word of God in you, you feel lack this word in you. Talking about Rima. When you apply Rima with dunamis, when you apply Rima with dunamis, your life becomes extraordinary. In this year, God is going to move people in a different dimension. In a different dimension. People are going to soya in Anakazo. Soya in a different dimension so high. People will be filled with so much wattage. Liquid fire. Electric fire. Because God is looking for men. Men. Can he find you? A section for men. All you need to do tonight, Father, here I am. My heart is open. Come and feed me. Have your place in me. You see, you see how you need to present yourself as a lamp before him? So that he can fill you from head to toe. If you are serving your God just within, 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 you are missing it. Because God wants to plant something in you so that you'll be a blessing to the entire generation. You must affect your generation. Not just live. You live to save lives. He said, as I come in contact with him, my life was transformed. And until you are transformed, you can't transform men. What kind of energy you carry? What kind of energy? You, you see people who move with demonic power. When they enter place, the whole place smell demonic. And you as a child of God, you enter place and not, no sign. No sign. No sign of the fire. And you. You are even very close to demons. And they shout with you. And they are free with you. Something is wrong with you. When you enter a place, light shine. How can you come in contact with demons and they are comfortable? You enter a place and you cannot affect the place. Even some people, even some child of God, when they enter a place, they feel so shy to be in. They are so shy. They don't want anybody to know. That they have Christ. So when Satan begin to blaspheme, speak nonsense to his agent in the environment, you will open your teeth, begin to laugh like an idiot. As you are laughing, heaven, the host of heaven, they are shaking their head in pains. When you enter a place and they are speaking nonsense against your belief. Then you stand up, you defend, you save someone with the word, with the remand. May God help us in Jesus' name. Please, can you come close to me, to the altar? There is a song, but I don't really know how to sing this song. You will help me to sing this song. My life is hid in Christ Jesus. I believe. Who knows this song? My life is hid in Christ Jesus. I believe I shall know that. I shall know that. My life is hid in Jesus. I shall. I shall not die. My life is Jesus. I believe, oh, 
I shine on that. I shine on that. My life is me in Christ Jesus. I shall live, oh, I shall not, I shall not die. My life is in Christ Jesus. I shall live, oh, I shall not die. I shall not die. My life is hidden in Christ Jesus. I shall live, oh, I shall not die. I shall not die. My life is hidden in Christ Jesus. I shall live, oh, I shall not die. Stretch your hands upon the altar. I want you to change your mindset of praying. Pray with another energy. With another level. I was praying one night. And I saw the moon. The moon was coming gradually. I was praying. My eyes was closed. But in the realm of the spirit, my eyes were open. As I was praying my eyes, I closed my eyes, but as if my eyes were open. So I saw the moon. We are coming down very close to me. And I saw a man inside the moon. So shiny. So the moon was coming. The moon was coming. It was coming. It passed through the roof. Because when Christ wants to come, it does not need anyone to open the door. That's why it does not need a canoe. Before he went to the sea. When he get there, whether Keno or not Keno, he can enter and cross. So when the disciple was waiting for him at the sick shore, he tarried. So when he came, there was no Keno. The Keno that was available, the, the wave have already took it away. So he have no option. He started walking on top of the sea. When he was coming, Peter saw him. So all the disciples say, it's a ghost. They look at him very well. He say, no, it's the master. Then Peter recognized him. He say, ha, ah, it's our Lord. Then Peter, with excitement, he say, ha, ah, look at our father is walking on the sea. With that excitement, he jumped on the sea. He forgot that it was a sea. So he was walking on the sea as well. So most of when you forget about the problem and look towards Jesus, that is when miracle begin to take place in your life. When you forget about the problems, you focus your attention in Christ Jesus. So when he was walking, all the disciples were clapping. He said, look at Peter. So he was so excited. He was running and Jesus was smiling. He said, my son, come. <laughs> so when he was coming, he later remembered and I see there. He said, ah, Nancy. As he remembered, he started seeking. <laughs> so what do you see? What you see control your mind. What you see, what you hear, what enters your heart, control your entire world. So what do you see? What men see bring them down or lift them. What you see either break you down or it lifts you. I told people, if you are going to the house of God, if now woman bumble, you they go there, they go look. <laughs> it means you are useless. Can, you can see a man in the house of God, at the service going on, you you you'll be looking at him, he's looking at the pastor. Even when the pastor they preach, they shake his head. He they shake his head. As if he's, he's, he's taking the message. But the moment the service closed, the next thing you will go and look is to carry his phone. Hello, I am James. Talking to a lady. And the stupid lady will also answer, I am Cynthia. This can I have your number? Can I have your number? <laughs> Hallelujah. Stretch your hands upon the altar. Stretch your hands upon the altar. <coughs> I want to pray for you. I want to pray for you. 
But before I pray, you will shout, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. You will shout this once. You will also say, Jesus, son of David, have compassion on me. Two things you will shout. You shout it, you sustain it, shout it very loud. Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. After this, we move down to the monument. We will shout the same thing. Jesus, son of David, have mercy on Nigeria. That is the only thing we are doing that we share the grace. Can you lift up your hands? Hold your hand and see if you are taking something from the Lord. Amen. Say, Father. Father. Here I am. Lives in me. Mm. Say it again. Say, Father. Father. Here I am. Lives in me. Lift up your hands to us, Now you are going to shout it. Jesus, Son of David, have mercy on me. One, two, three, go. Jesus! Son! You are going to shout it again. Jesus! Son of David! Have me. The Jesus, you will scream it very long. One, two, three, go. Go and shout mercy upon the land. Let light shine again in the land of Nigeria. Let everything change for better. Nigeria will not be even before we were born. Was tree full of words, riches. Everybody to the front of the monument. Front of the monument. This is not a matter of politics, but it's a matter of our nation. How our the land can be cleansed from innocent. Innocent blood crying daily. Blood are crying against this land, Nigeria. Souls cry daily. 
that this land we we know no peace. The land we not see peace. Why? Many died on justice. And most of the people who who cause all this havoc are the same people making laws for us. So lift up your hands. You are going to cry for mercy upon this land. God show mercy upon today Saturday. Raise a man, man, man. This election, this money, you alone, man, raise a man, a leader for Nigeria. Forgive Nigeria his sin. Forgive us our sin. Have mercy. Never give us a leader to punish us. We are sorry, Lord. Can you beat up your two hands? Can you lift up your two hands? Say, Lord, don't give us a leader that will punish us. Come on, can you stand in the Stand in the It lit up. We are going to shout. Jesus, man of Calvary, have mercy upon Nigeria. You shout it very loud. Jesus, man of Calvary, have very loud and clear. Amen. Can we shut it now? One, two, three, go. Jesus! Man of Calvary! Have mercy upon Nigeria. We are going to shout this 21 times. Oh, God of mercy. One, two, three, go. Have mercy upon Nigeria. Jesus! Man of Calvary! Have mercy upon Nigeria. Jesus! Man of Calvary! Have mercy upon Nigeria. Jesus! Man of Calvary! Have mercy upon Nigeria. Jesus, man of Calvary, have mercy upon Nigeria. Jesus, man of Calvary, Jesus, man of Calvary, have mercy upon Nigeria. Jesus, man of Calvary. Have mercy upon Nigeria. Jesus, man of Calvary, 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 have mercy upon Nigeria. Jesus, man of Calvary. Is that okay? Remaining three. Jesus! Man of Calvary! Jesus! Man of Calvary! Have mercy upon Nigeria. Jesus! Man of Calvary! 
I sense peace in the land. Thank you, Father. Can you just wave your hand and say, Thank you, Father? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. We are going to shout just three for ourselves. You will shout the Jesus, man of Calvary, show me love and great compassion. I hear me. We shout this three times. Jesus, man of Calvary, show me love and great compassion. One, two, three, go. Jesus, man of Calvary, show me love and compassion. Jesus. Man of Calvary, show me love and great compassion. She, man of Calvary, lift up your hands. I want to pray for you. There is a song in our darling that says, Azaria, no. I worry you I see the blood of Jesus just the way he shared it on the cross of Calvary. I see the blood now. So I stand in the altar, I see the blood. And whenever I see the blood, I know mercy is about to speak. Whenever I see that blood, I know mercy, 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 mercy is about to flow in the life and the sons of men. Can you wave your hands? Say thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Stand to your feet. Stand to your feet and wave your hands. Wave your hands to him. Lord is telling me, say, as you are waving your hands, his mercy is going around. He's, he's touching one after the other. His mercy and his compaction. His mercy and his compaction. His mercy and his compaction. He's flowing, he's flowing. He's flowing, he's flowing. Found is flowing everywhere. Who so ever take up your head? May love Jesus, the God of Father, and wipe away your sin. Every tears in your eyes, every tears in your eyes. May the God of Ariel cleanse away all your tears. Amen. One thing I know Satan cannot withstand is the mercy of God. Is the mercy of God. Is the mercy of God. When the voice altered from heaven and he said, Leave him. For the Bible says, how we have mercy on whom are we have mercy? How we show mercy on whom are we show mercy? As your amen is louder, may God show you mercy. In Luke chapter 2, verse 52, the Bible says, Jesus was highly favored by mine and God. And he received great favor from man and God. He grew in his status. He was highly favored. 
Ali Ono. As your hand is lifted up, may you be highly in favor. With the money, you shall be favored. With the afternoon, you shall be favored. With the night, you shall be favored. Under 14 days, the Lord is telling me many years we come out with testimony. Counting from now, 14 days, a miracle will break forth. Thank you, Father. Please, can you come to the church? Come to the mountain. Fountain of life. Whosoever tastes oh, oh fountain of life is flowing everywhere. Whosoever tastes shall never, never taste again. Fountain of life oh, is flowing everywhere. Oh, whosoever tastes. Shall never, never taste again. Come to the altar. Fountain of life is flowing everywhere. Whosoever taste. Oh, God bless you. Shall never, never taste again. Oh, fountain of life is flowing everywhere. Whosoever taste. Shall never, never test again. Oh, fault lies. Jesus. Yeah, 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 Shall never, never test again. As we are sharing the grace, don't be in hurry. Don't be in hurry to leave. Don't be in hurry to go and sleep. As we are sharing the grace, kneel on the altar. Kneel on the altar and say, God, May your mercy and your love and compassion never depart from my life. Amen. Don't play with this. There are times mercy. There are times mercy flow. So if you are connected to such grace at a particular time, you grab it. So, can we share the grace one little go? The grace of our love, Jesus. Christ.